Hello and welcome to yet another draft. Um, pretty weird first pick here. What does this do? Other goblin creatures you control. Meh. Put a 1-1 one, one red goblin, okay? That's pretty good. But I can't put up a top first pick. Um, that's actually a pretty interesting card. Like, I'm pretty sure it's strong. Um, it's strong and limited. But yeah, top is just a monster. Seeing that we can still go any way we want. I took on Scepter is in this format, really? That seems broken. Gonna go for it. I uh, haven't played with it that often. Uh, but I think having repetitive effects like Counterspell, which definitely is possible, um, and there's plenty of, of really good cards. Like in red it's good, in blue it's good, uh, in black it's good, in white it's probably a bit worse. But I mean, those are 3 out of 5 colors where you can have Isochron Scepter as a good card. It's obviously not the absolute nuts, um, but it's an interesting card and I'm basically just uh, willing to pick up cards that I want to play with at this point. Um, let's go for some semi-control here, I guess. There's a kitty just whining here. Let's check it out, what it wants later on, but not right now. I'm playing... Stupid kitty. Uh, so we do get the impulse, there's also an Nefrit, which we will pass. Uh, if we do pick up the impulse, the impulse goes... Oh, well alongside the Isochron Scepter and um, I think blue is the best color to go with Isochron Scepter and Senses Divine Top. The problem of course is that um, a lot of people feel that way about blue and are gonna play blue pretty heavily. Uh, but I'm gonna go for the Impulse, like it's just uh, the better card. What is it kitty? Uh, so there's a lightning bolt, which is another really good card. Uh, it's removal, and I'm not. Uh, I'm actually a fan of, of blue red. Uh, another strong card, of course, is Fate's Feathers. Ranger, but meh. Tar Mauler is obviously fine. Uh, we saw it in the previous match. Uh, let's go for the lightning bolt. We might not play it. We might play it. Uh, but those are two strong cards already on their own, and then they're. Even better if you combine it with an ice cream scepter. Hall of Triumph, what does this do? Man, that sucks. Well, it's okay, but it's not uh, that great. Flame Javelin costs 6, right? So, yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, Repeal works if I do it on a 0. <laughs> uh, there's also Nico Bolas. It seems weird to want to pick this uh, because then I'll have to go 3 colors. It's actually a pretty powerful card and it works with uh, the control aspect that I have here. Hinder, uh, it works but it isn't that great. I think I want to go for the Sulfur Falls, falls as a fix. Uh, kitty, get out of my bag! Thank you. No, that's my bag. Like, I already packed because I'm, I'm out of here this evening. And my bags are here in front of me and the kitty was sitting on it. I don't like that. Well, one of the two kitties, the other one just keeps on whining. And the little one. So yeah, Nico Bolas. Uh, so we'll be playing black as well, which gives my Ice Queen Scepter, of course, uh, the best three colors um, to combine it with, because you have stuff like Disfigure, Doomblade, and so on. Uh, Four Spike, not that great. Uh, I guess Badlands is a good pick, just because it fixes. Uh, this figure is obviously a fine card as well, but I think I want to fix uh, more than anything if I want to go with the Nico Bolas plan. Uh, the last draft we tried running, I'm just adjusting my microphone here because I think it's a bit too close to my mouth. Um, like I have a weird idea of um, wearing my headset. So my left ear uh, is covered and my microphone goes from my left ear to my mouth but my right ear, uh, the headset is behind my ear so that I can actually hear myself talk 
uh, and I don't speak too loud, um, which some people do did complain about. Uh, Electrolyze, obviously a decent card here, uh, better than anything of the rest, like these aren't things that I want, this isn't something I'm going to use, uh, but Electrolyze definitely is. Uh, it doesn't work with Icing on Scepter, but it's just a good card. Uh, so the last draft, w I was talking about that, that I didn't uh, run the fix early enough, so I had to run with two colors. Uh, we did go 2-1, spoilers, meh. Um, was a f fine draft, we didn't have any late game though, um, and the first round opponent was actually matched up pretty well against us. So people are slow, like we're the fastest apparently. I guess that's because we decide too fast. Like, I do play poker uh, pretty often in my spare time, and I have the same issue there that I tend to play too fast. Uh, there's a Steam Vents, a Volcanic Island, and a Crumbling Necropolis. Um, I think I have to go for this just because it's uh, it's three of my colors. Uh, I do like Profane Command, of course, but there's no way I, I can pass up the best fakes for my deck at this point. Um, both Volcanic Islands and Steam Vents being in that pack is a bit annoying. Uh, there's Vizara, but again, there's another fix, uh, some more fix for me. Pact of Negation, huh? Form of the Dragon is an interesting card. You wanna know something? <laughs> nah, I'm gonna go for the Pact, like. Uh, Pact with Ice Cream Scepter actually works. Uh, there's a Lava Crow Reaches, more fix. So we have five fix already. Uh, yeah, packed with Ice Cream Scepter works. It's just gonna be expensive uh, every time. So that's already three cards that work with Ice Cream Scepter. And in these colors, like if I get a counter spell, a mana leak, um, what's two color and draw the card? A uh, two casting is a charm. Is a charm is really good. Um, guess I'll pick the oust. Maybe I should have picked the. Seal of Cleansing. Uh, Necropotence is a really nice card. Uh, not sure if I'll run it, but I mean it's just a strong card in general. Uh, I'm not that heavy on black, so it's probably... Well, I do have plenty of figs. I have four, four black figs already. Grasslands is not the colors I want. So we actually have eight cards um, that I can play out of my first pack already. Uh, seven, uh, because the Necropotence obviously isn't in there. Um, uh, we need some, some finishers outside of Nicobolas, of course. But we'll get there, don't worry. Uh, so far we have no shuffle effect for Senses Divining Top, which is a bit annoying. Uh, there's not a lot of shuffle effects in this for format outside of Fetchlands. Uh, Fetchlands, Ponder, or in my colors. Um, search abilities, but search in the colors that I have outside of Demonic Tutor and Vampiric Tutor, which are high priorities in other people's picks. Um, so we get a Mana Leak. Um, what else is in here? Esper Charm, I can't play. Grim Love Monster, I can play, but I'm not sure about that. Spell Sky that I can play, but again, not sure about it. I think Mana League has to be the pick. Again, it's a good card, it works on the Rise of Scepter, uh, which makes them always play around it, or forced to play around it. Uh, great card advantage engine. Obviously, I want Counter Spell instead uh, to put under the Ice Crown because that's the best card to put under it, I think. Um, depends. Depends against which deck though, but uh, getting the mana leak obviously is fine as it is. Mana drain isn't in the format anymore. Uh, probably a bit too sick for this format. Without power, um, like you, there's no mana crypt, there's no soul ring anymore, uh, stuff like that. Huh. There is auger balls, but there's also mystical tutor. I currently have one, two, three, four, five targets. Uh, what else is there? Herald of Torment is pretty strong, but meh. 
The Virus disc is pretty good, but it's not high priority on a lot of people's lists. Uh, Mystical Tutor works with Dice Conceptor, but it's not really that great. I think Augur is a better card. I mean, um, it makes it so that we can't actually. So the difference between Augur and Mystical is that Mystical is instant, so if I tap out turn 2 for Augur, I will leave true. Uh, creatures through the mana leak and stuff, but I mean both serve the same purpose and it is finding a spell to put on the Jurassic run. Uh, we get a cryptic command. There's also a pristine talisman. It's not much in the spec for me. Like cryptic command is definitely a pick and I'm maybe the Mishras, but doubtful. Uh, we're heavy on the blue with this cryptic command though and I'm not that happy with it. Because blue seems to be my splash. And I only have two fix for that at, at this point. Although, it's it's odd to say that blue is my splash just because of this. Uh, there's Dissipate, there's Vendillion Click, there's Flametone Cap. This is a pretty strong pack uh, for my colors. I think Vendillion Click is... Oh, there's also Vampiric Tutor, wow. Has to be Vampiric Tutor, right? Like one of these three will wheel or should wheel, maybe the days then, but Vampiric Tutor, even on the Rising Receptor, um, is just a monster. It gets me the card I want, it works really great with top, it works really great with Isaac Receptor, it can get me the Nickel Balls late game if I want need it, or if I'm like, yeah, I want this right now. Um, so yeah, this is also a pretty good card, um, as is the Mio, but I think this is a bit better. I know it sounds weird, but this is really a good card. You feel the first card you're drawing, yeah? Like, I like both of them, there's a, there's a problem, and there's a Scalding Torn. So I pick this. Then this might wheel. Which one is better? Like Karanas is is good, but I haven't played with it that much, and Tamio has an effect immediately when it comes into play. It just taps down one thing. Uh, I want to go for the Karanas. It works um, real well with the top because you can choose. Uh, here it has to be the Jace, right? There's also Slaughter Pack, but. Uh, Jace is pretty good. It's a planeswalker. All planeswalkers are good. Mm, not that not that big of a fan of this actually. Like you you have to put it into your graveyard. That's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Like it has to be the pick because all the rest of the cards are bad. But I'm I'm not a fan of it. I probably won't even play it. Um, it only draws me. A few cards. Like, it's a great finisher if I need it. But I think I can just grind it out uh, if need be. Tidings is a pretty good card to have. Yep. Uh, we don't have any mass removal though. So we're just gonna go for incremental advantage. Or that's the plan. Uh, we have to go for like small advantages. And win from there. Uh, so Necropotence probably not being played. Uh, there's a spell sky that wield, there's a scroll rack. Um, I guess scroll rack is a bit better. But again, I'm not that big a fan of it. Like, spell sky might just be better. Um, just because it protects the Isaac Conceptor as well. Mystical Tutor wield as it's a disc. Um, we have a Vampiric Tutor right now. We can get with Mystical Tutor Cryptic Command, which is the most powerful, or a Pact of Negation or Tidings. I think Disc is better than seeing that it allows me to remove things. Um, there's a lot of green. I don't think a lot of people are green. And if they are green, they are gonna pick like Fauna Shaman over it. Uh, I was thinking about Hate Drafting Thornscape uh, to protect Isaac Receptor, but I don't think it's needed. Uh, here it has to be today's. Might not play it. We'll see. Uh, wow. Uh, I guess I'll pick the relic. Like I have no graveyard interaction. 
Uh, it's a great sideboard card against uh, some str strong decks. Uh, dismiss, huh? Nice one. So currently we have one, two, three, four, five, six targets. Although this is pretty bad uh, for the Isaac run. I think f like four is something I would run with. Uh, Flooded Grove, not in my colors. So if we cut this, we're splashing black for this and this. And we already have five fix, four fix for that. So Necropotence is probably out. Has to be out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like Mana Leak and Lightning Bolt under it, and Impulse, of course. Every turn, an Impulse. Um, it's pretty brutal. There's the counter spell, but there's also treachery. Um, God damn it! <laughs> I know it seems weird seeing that I was like, yeah, but like treachery is just so good. Like if I pick the counter spell, I'm basically just going for the Isochron play, and I don't think it's that needed. Like treachery is just so good. It's never gonna wheel, like there's no way it ever wheels. While Counterspell might wheel if they pick Tinker instead of it. I have to go for Treachery. Um, it sucks that they're both in my opening pack. Like if the next pack had a Counterspell that would be huge. Uh, but Treachery is just so good. The fact that it allows you to untap 5 mana as well. You just imagine Treachery and then Kernos or something. Or Treachery and then keeping open. Cryptic commands. Um, you just takes away the, their board presence, especially in cube. I obviously want counter spell as well, so it has to wheel now. Uh, there's trade wind riders. Oh man, there's fire eyes. Fire eyes is a monster under ice conceptor. It's it's brutal. Like you can choose. Which one you want to run under the icy run. Uh You can keep something tapped down and draw a card every time. Uh, you can keep on shooting damage. Like it's, it's it's probably one of the best cards. There's there's counter spell, boomerang, fire eyes, diabolic edict, um, orange chant of course. That are really good under it. Can I do this? That's an interesting one. I'm not actually sure. Like I'm, I'm gonna pick this up uh, because I think it works. Because one of the th oh man, there's also easy charm. Oh man, what am I getting here? How many goddamn Isaac Conceptor targets am I getting? We have drafted a monster in Ice Grand Scepter, <laughs> second pick. Like we got Is It Charm, Fire Eyes. I think this works um, because uh, Ice Grand Scepter reads imprint. You may exile an instant card with convert to mana cost two or less from your hand. You may copy the exile card. Blah blah blah. Um, this is two. I, I pointed at my screen again. So four is is <laughs> is two mana instant, so you can imprint that. And uh, when you play it, you can actually choose what you want to do, right? Like even if it doesn't, just imprinting far on it is good enough, and the card in general works in my deck. Um, there's Inquisition, snuff out. This is a strong card, but not something I want. I think I want snuff out. I think I want the removal. Uh, Inquisition is pretty good, but I think Snowbat is, is just a card I want. So we have one card too much here, which obviously is the Relic of Progenitus. Uh, still could use some fix. Like, we need some more blue black fix, maybe Underground Sea, um, stuff like that. Because black, well, maybe red is my splash now. One, two, three, four. Five, six, yeah, red seems to be more of a splash. Uh, we have five fix for that, so that seems likely that I'll just not run uh, a mountain. What does this do? 
Uh, this is a fix, by the way. Whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent sacrifices. Mm, okay, don't play creatures. Uh, but River, obviously, a fix I want. Because uh, I've been talking about fix all the time. Now I get one. Hi, kitty. What are you doing here? Be nice, kitty. Get away. Uh, Rocket Tarpit is another nice fix. Um, there's also Brainstorm. But I don't think I really need Brainstorm. I actually think I, I like the shuffle effect of this a bit more with Sensei's Divining Top, despite it coming into play tapped. Um, Brainstorm isn't. Well, it works with Ice Cream Scepter again. Hmm. But we only have one shuffle effect, right? Well, we do have two with the Vampiric, but. Uh, I think I want to tarp it. Um, brainstorm is pretty good. but Reflecting pool, nah. If I'm stuck on mana, I'm stuck on mana anyway. Uh, skin render is a fine card, but I think Essence Scatter is a really good sideboard card against creature habit decks. Uh, or just decks that uh, run like as their finisher one big creature. And then Essence Scatter is pretty good. And against. Ah, damn you, kitty. Did you hear gu guys hear that? Like. And then something falls and gets scared of it and suddenly runs away. That's why. Like, I love dogs. I'm not a cat person. I'll tell you that. Uh, this wield and the counter spell didn't, w didn't wield, but I mean, more fix uh, for me is always good. Uh, because my deck is, like, finished. I just, just want more fix. Um, and the more fix I get like this, the less I need to run um, mountains. Now, I do need to run a mountain because I drafted uh, Rocket Tar Pit, so I have to run a single mountain. Single mountain, double swamp, I think, or maybe a single swamp as well. And rest our islands. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 lands. It's 7 more, then we run 5 islands, which is 1, 2, 3... Eight blue sources, that's not enough. So we're gonna run six. That's not possible. Oh, we can run 18 lands and then cut something. Um, Cordo Calling, wow, new art as well, huh? Got reprinted. I think this is a better card, but I like Court. Like, it's a pretty cool card. Maybe we just don't run uh, Chase. Nah, gotta run Chase. Maybe not the disc. Like we're we're a card too much here. Uh, maybe the days is out. We don't wanna get rid of a uh, land. Entrop one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Yeah. So we have eight more lands. So six, one, one is then the way I'm gonna go because I need at least nine blue sources with. Um, Having Crypto Command, Treachery, a lot of double blue, and blue basically being my main color. Chaos Warp. Chaos Warp is fine. Uh, Might Tire Burden, pretty unlikely. Rolling Earthquake is a good one. Why is that still in there? Ah man, Rolling Earthquake is so good. Because uh, I don't play creatures. Like, I play one creature. Two if you count Augur, but that doesn't really count, does it? Uh, Frantic Surge, but no thank you. Uh, Pain Seer, whatever. Carpalism Forest. So we have one card too many here. Um. Because we want 10 land. Oh, oh, yeah, right. We want 10 lands. What am I talking about? Um, so we might not have too many. Because now if we run 7 lands. Oh, no, we need 8. What am I talking about? We need 9. You need 17 lands, dude. You need 9 lands. So you can run 7 1 1 and be fine. Like, I actually made this mistake before. Um, 711, this is blue. This is blue. And. 
this is blue, so then we have 10 blue sources. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8 black, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 red. So we have 8, 8, 10. Seems fine. Um, plenty of targets to get there. So let's look at our deck. Maybe want to change something about that. Do we want any of these in? Seems unlikely. Uh, maybe the essence scatter isn't that bad. It's pretty good late game. Like we can main deck this over Pact of Negation, but I think Pact of Negation with Ice Cream Scepter is good late game lock as it is. Like I was lacking counter spell, but Pact of Negation does work under it. It just gonna cost me like <laughs> seven mana every turn <laughs> compared to two mana. Uh, because you do have to pay the upkeep cost. It's not that bad. Um, how many do? So I only have two of them. That count as a swamp for snub out. But that's fine. Like yeah, I think rolling earthquake is good enough to keep in here. And this these two are basically my late game late game card. Like destroy target non creature permanent Kablam, gain control of Tarkish, Kablam and this if they can't get rid of it it's just gonna win the game. Uh, maybe the spell sky is not that great. It does protect my Icicron Scepter, which I want. And it's a blocker against aggro. Yeah, let's keep it as it is. Uh, I'll see you guys for round one. Uh, pretty interesting deck, in my opinion.